Now, when we look at the gut, obviously this is a very big topic and that's why we have a very comprehensive module just on the GI function and treatment strategies and labs. But in relation to the thyroid function, let's see what we can do to help those patients. And we know that when we change the bacteria in our gut, we can actually change the function of the gut and we can change the gut from pro to anti-inflammatory and we can impact through the gut, we can impact other organs in our body. So let's take a look, for example, of the clinical use of probiotics. So there was a six month study with patients divided into three treatment groups to evaluate the impact of probiotic, which is introducing different species of bacteria into our gut. And they want to see how does that impact thyroid function of patients with Graves' disease. The study had three groups. One group received the drug, 20 milligrams of metimazole per day. The other group got, was sort of a control group, if you can call it that, or a placebo. They got the drug plus black bean, 100 grams black bean per day as in a powder. And then the third group received the drug and the probiotic Bifidobacterium longum. Interestingly, the patient who received just the drug, as we all know, the drug helps to manage the condition. It significantly improved in several thyroid indexes, but not in the most important index, which is thyrotropin receptor antibody levels, which is an indicator of the Graves' disease recurrence rate. The clinical thyroid index of patients with grave disease in the probiotic and drug treatment group continue to improve and the concentration of thyrotropin receptor antibody recovered to healthy levels. So probiotic could be a simple and beneficial treatment strategy for your patients with thyroid conditions. Now, there are two different supplements that contain the species of probiotics. One of them is ProBioMed 250B, which is for billion, by design for health. This is a very high potency probiotic with good shelf life stability. It's dairy-free, and it's formulated to contain 250 billion CFU, that's colony-forming units, per serving of a variety of probiotics, Bifidobacterium longum. has It has about 3 billion of that particular species. And then... The other one is Probiotic Pro BB536 by Bioclinic Naturals. It has stable shelf life, contains really high amounts of those, about 10 billion CFU of the Bifidobacteria longum. So those are two, two good options from professional grade. We're not affiliated with any of those companies. I just did some research to provide you with a couple of recommendations for professional grade companies. And then when we talk about hypothyroidism, there was a study to evaluate the impact of 10 weeks of symbiotics, which basically symbiotics, all it is, is a combination of probiotics together with prebiotics, which is the fiber that the probiotics, uh, the bacteria consumes to create the metabolites that are beneficial in our gut. This particular symbiotic contained 500 milligrams of capsules with probiotic plus fructo oligosaccharides. And they compared it with placebo, which was, which basically lactose, um, magnesium, citrate, talc, and silicon dioxide in patients with hypothyroidism. And results were interesting. There's actually no significant difference in hormone levels between the two groups, the placebo and the symbiotic. But there was a significant improvement reported in subjective mental health bodily pain, and quality of life in the treatment group that received the symbiotic product. The symbiotic supplement that they used is called Familact, which is not sold in the U.S. So there are two alternatives that are sold here that I found. One of them is really good. Pharmanex is a really good company, good reputation, and their product is called HCL Symbiotic Intensive. The HCL is helpful for patients with digestion problems. And then there's Therbiotic Symbiotic by Clear Labs is another option for patients with hypothyroidism. It is important to mention that if you give 
probiotics to a patient that has SIBO, has small intestine bacterial overgrowth, it's better, it's good to prepare them to the possibility that they will have bloating, they will have discomfort, and they will have changes in their bowels. So if you suspect they have gut issue, send them to, to do a comprehensive GI analysis to make sure that there's no pathogens there, excess or overgrowth of bacteria, and make sure that there are no other pathogens like candida or parasites or something like that. Just make sure that it's clear before you put them on probiotics. Now, if when you are doing an antibiotic treatment, if it's natural, herbal, such as using grapefruit seed extract or oregano oil or garlic, or there's a variety of compounds that we talk about in the GI module, or using a prescription antibiotic, it would be beneficial to use probiotics because you're essentially helping to constitute and helping to saturate their gut with the healthy bacteria. Unfortunately, probiotics do not stay. Those foreign probiotic supplements, in most cases, they don't stay in our gut. So this will be a protocol that will be used for six, for three, six months, a year, until the, we get the patient to a healthier function. We help them to reduce the inflammation, change their lifestyle diet, use anti-inflammatory protocols, help them to get to a better state, and they can continue on and off with these probiotics, or they can just terminate using those probiotics, right? But this is a very good supportive therapy. 